think we haven't had a lot of consistency with how the construction is, and we know there's a lot of moving parts, but we just want some direction. The city addressing safety concerns surrounding a major construction project in Broad Ripple. Several residents and business owners say current detours limit access and pose a hazard. CBS 4's Bianca Reyes has been following this story closely. She attended tonight's contentious meeting. What can you tell us tonight, Bianca? Well, Bob, this was the public's first opportunity to voice their concerns directly to the city's Department of Public Works. However, to residents' surprise, the city can't address those concerns until their work officially starts this summer. In the midst of chaotic and confusing construction, Broad Ripple residents and business owners just want clarity. It's been three weeks since the city broke ground on the Broad Ripple Avenue redesign project. It will improve stormwater capacity and reduce flooding. But for right now, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't adding onto their plate of, of issues. It's creating a headache. Drivers are ignoring a one way street, and customers are struggling to access nearby businesses. We just want some direction so that we can make sure we're taking that direction and giving it to our students. Tiffany Dinwiddie is one of dozens to attend a public meeting Tuesday night, giving those in the crowd the first opportunity to voice their concerns in person. We're working on a plan to address that with our traffic engineering division. Indy DPW was there to answer questions, but clear solutions were not laid out. Those city officials at tonight's meeting say the work going on now is under the control of Citizens Energy Group. And DPW's work won't start until June or July. But there wasn't a representative from citizens here, so it's kind of hard when they couldn't give a straight answer to tell us, well, now what? A spokesperson for DPW says they will take today's concerns into consideration when planning for future work this summer. Having utility work ahead of our construction can be helpful because we can see how um, traffic uh, navigates around a construction project and that's something that we may be able to continue to look into. So for now, residents and businesses will need to direct their comments, questions and concerns to Citizens Energy. We're just hoping that they can make it right so that we can continue to be an open and successful business coming off of a pandemic. Now we did reach out to Citizens Energy Group this evening. They're planning to provide a formal statement tomorrow. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Bianca Reyes, CBS 4 News. Bianca